welcome dear students in this video lecture we are going to solve the numerical basis on the basic psychometric properties this kind of numerical is asked in the question paper of applied thermodynamics in the 24th november 2021 so i am taking the similar numerical so let us we start to solve this numerical data given over here is a sling psychometer reads 35 degree dry bulb temperature and 28 degree wet bulb temperatures student as you know that the sling psychometer is a device which is used to measure the dpt and wpt and the barometric pressures is given that is 740 mm of hg find the various psychometric properties so students first of all we just write down the given data so data given over here first is dry bulb temperature so which is indicated t db which is the 35 degree centigrade the wbt is given so it is indicated by t wb which is 28 degree centigrade the barometric pressures is given that is 740 mm of hg first of all we convert this barometric pressures from millimeter of hg to bar for that we need to multiply it by 133.3 and divide by 10 to the power 5 so we get it is 0.9864 bar students why we need to convert this uh, pressure from millimeter of hg to bar because in steam table the value of pressure is given in bar that's why we need to convert it into the bar so now the step number 1 is to calculate the vapor pressure we need to apply the formula of carrier equation and for carrier equation we need to find the vapor pressures according to wet bulb temperature so step 1 is from steam table we need to find the pressure at temperature that is wet bulb which is 28 degree centigrade so from steam table of temperature base we need to locate the 28 degree centigrade and we need to find out the pressure so value of pressure for this is saturated pressures at wet bulb temperature we get and that is 0.0378 bar now first we find out the vapor pressure for vapor pressure we have to apply the carrier equations which is pv is equals to pvs at wet bulb temperature minus pt that is the pressures of atmosphere minus pvs at wet bulb temperature bracket is over another bracket is that there is a t db minus t wb whole divided by 1527.4 minus 1.3 into t w p now we put it down the value in this equations so our saturation pressure at wet bulb is 0.0378 minus atmospheric pressure is 0.9864 minus again the same pressure 0.0378 into the difference between the dry bulb and wet bulb so 35 minus 28 whole divided by 1527.4 minus 1.3 into wet bulb temperature that is 28 so finally we get the value of vapor pressure that is pv which is equals to 0.0378 minus this is 6.6403 divided by 1491 and finally we get 
the value is 0 0.0333 bar. So this is our vapor pressures. Now students, we are going to find out the second term and the second term is relative humidity. For relative humidity, we are using the formula that phi is equals to PV upon PVS at dry bulb temperatures. So for that, we again need to go for the steam table. From steam table, read the value of pressure at dry bulb temperature and that is 35 degrees centigrade. So we get the value of PVS at dry bulb is 0 0.0563 bar. So now phi is equals to the vapor pressure is 0 0.033 divided by 0 0.0563. So we get the value is 0 0.5923 it means the relative humidity is 59.32. It means our air is 60% relative humidity. Now third, that is a specific humidity. Now for specific humidity, specific humidity is indicated by W, which is equals to 0 0.622 into vapor pressure, that is PV, divided by Pt that is atmospheric pressures minus vapor pressure. So we get 0 0.622 into vapor pressure is 0 0.0333 divided by the barometric reading is 0 0.9864 minus 0 0.0333. So we get the answer 0 0.0215 that is kg per kg of dry air. Now the fourth one is the vapor density. So for finding out the vapor density we use the formula that PV into VV which is equals to MV into RV into TV. So P V is equals to MV upon VV into RV into TV. So we get here it is a rho V into RV into TV which is equals to PV. And if we make the subject rho V then it becomes a PV. So that is the value is 0 0.0333 the unit is bar so we need to convert it into the newton per meter by multiplying 10 to the power 5 the r v is r v is the universal gas constant divided by the molecular mass of the substance so here it is a water vapor so molecular mass of the water vapor is 18 and the va value of universal gas constant is 8314.3. So we need to divide by 18. So it becomes 18 divided by 8314.3 into the temperature we need to consider in the Kelvin. So it becomes a 308 and we get the vapor density that is 0 0.0234 kg per meter cube. Now students, we are going to find out the degree of saturation. To find out the degree of saturation, we need to apply the formula that is mu equals to vapor pressure into the difference of barometric readings or the atmospheric pressures minus the saturation pressure at dry bulb temperature divided by the saturation pressure at dry bulb temperature 
into bracket the atmospheric pressures minus the vapor pressure. So we know that the value of vapor pressure is 0 0.0333 the ambient or the barometric reading is 0 0.9846 minus the saturation pressure according to the dry bulb temperature is 0 0.0563 similarly in denominator side it is 0 0.0563 into the bracket 0 0.98 Four six minus the vapor pressure is 0 0.0333. So we get the degree of saturations that is 0 0.5772. Now the dew point temperature. So dew point temperature is the value of of temperature corresponding to the vapor pressure. So again from the steam table, we need to calculate temperature at vapor pressure and that is 0 0.0333. And if you do not get the direct value of the temperature at corresponding pressure, then you need to do the interpolation. So here we get the temperature, the dew point temperature DPT is 26 degree centigrade. Last is the enthalpy. Now we are going to calculate the enthalpy of moist air. So the formula used to calculate the enthalpy of moisture is 1.005 that is a Cp of air into the dry bulb temperature plus the specific humidity into 2500 plus 1.85 into dry bulb temperature. So here we get 1.005 into the value of dry bulb temperature is 35. The specific humidity that we calculated is 0 0.0215 into 2500 plus 1.85 into 35. So we get the enthalpy of this moisture is 90.31 kilojoule per kg of air. Student, you can also be verified your answers using the psychometric chart. So on the psychometric chart, you need to have this different lines and using the dry bulb temperatures that dBT is given over here and the wet bulb temperature is given over here that is WBT. So using this two line, you can be able to locate the point and from point you can be able to calculate the specific humidity relative humidity that is a phi then the dew point temperatures from the scale as well as here there is vapor pressure scale is given so using this observation you can be able to calculate the vapor pressure then enthalpy lines are also given over here so using this line you can be able to calculate enthalpy of moisture so in that way you can be able to check your answer thank you students thank you for watching this video thank you